All right, hey, how's it going? I've got a quick tutorial for you today. This has been a real frustration for me and I seem to have fixed it. And I looked on forums and a lot of people also needed this fixed. Uh, I didn't see a clear explanation, but I figured it out and I wanna help people out. I have been using Photoshop to export from Photoshop directly into the switcher. Uh, it worked in the past, right? You used to be able to go right into Photoshop and then you'd go file and then export and then you could directly put it straight into the ATM media pool via the export plugin. Uh, right now I'm in Photoshop 2019, the 20.0.6 release. And uh, I think they've mixed around kind of where the plugins are at and things. So I'll show you how to get this back if it's gone. Uh, the, the problem lies in that the plugin is in the wrong place. So we need to put the plugin in the right place. First off, get the plugin uh, from where it is currently. It's in your library, in application support, in Blackmagic Design, and then Switchers. And it's right here in the CS5. Uh, you can just take that one. It's called Switcher, Switchers Export Plugin. And you can either drag it once we get there or right click and say copy, okay? And then let's go back to back to the main hard drive and we'll go applications and then go navigate over to Photoshop itself. And notice it's like a it's like a package, right? It's not the application, it's a package. So we're going to double click this one. And then right here there's a folder that says plugins. So we're going to double click plugins and I was able to just drag it in right here um, and then I think once it opened, it, it put itself in its own folder called import-export. But essentially you just go right here and say paste, paste item. I've already pasted it, it's right here. Close out of Photoshop, right? So we'll go quit Photoshop. Do you wanna save? Sure, that's what I've been working on. And then immediately open Photoshop again. So I've got this thing open in Photoshop again. I'm gonna make a change. We'll change Rand's name to uh, Jared, sure, because Jared's playing the Uno game now. Um, and in fact, you know what? Uh, Jared has won a couple rounds, so let's say that he ran, he won the first round. Cool. So there it is. And now I want to update that. <clears throat> and without that switcher export, oh, it took so long. So now we'll go File, Export, ATEM Switcher Media Pool. I haven't even saved the PSD yet. I'm just opening it as is. And now it's saying, okay, here's your switcher. And here's, what, what do you want to call it? You can just leave it the same name if it's going to up, update something that's already there. And then where do you want to put it in the media pool, okay? Well, if we're just replacing the one that's already there, all you have to do is leave it in that first one. Pre-multiply the alpha, that means keep it transparency. And then, this is the cool part, you can just import it directly in to either media player one or media player two. This graphic I have automatically set in media player two. So I'm gonna go right there, hit export. And about seven seconds later, that graphic updated to reflect the changes that I made in Photoshop. Cool, hope that helps. All you guys that are switcher users and uh, use Photoshop on a daily basis to update lower thirds and graphics and things like that, this is the way to get it back. Okay, enjoy, thanks.